So we finally got a nice day out. Brought out the 1.6 scale Jeep and the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. I want to see how they perform. I've already driven it a little bit. I can tell you that the hard plastic tires on the on the gun uh, they make a lot of noise. Um, through the grass it pulls pretty good. One of the first things I found is that the legs on the gun will not stay together. I had to put a zip tie around there. But on this gun you can't open the legs and display it in, in a firing firing ready position. Um, the legs are closed all the time so I'm thinking about just gluing them if it's going to be permanent. Another thing about the gun is that there's no elevation, no traverse. I mean it's just a toy. I only paid like 50 bucks for it. But uh, the breech is wrong. It almost looks like the breech on a recoilless rifle. But towing behind the Jeep it, it looks you know pretty good. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. Glad I bought it. If I get an opportunity to get another one for that price, I'll do it again. Now, also, if you watch eBay, you'll find um, there's a G.I. Joe D-Day kit. It comes with one soldier. He's not one of these. He's got a funny blue-colored uniform, but he comes with a lot of cool stuff. This is one of the packs that uh, comes with it. You get uh, two shelter halves. You can do a complete pup tent and the pack to carry it, and then here's another one. This has got the blanket. It comes with a, a wool blanket. Um, there's a, an entrenching tool and a knife attached to the pack. Um, you can take the blanket and re-roll it if you want to. But it's, uh, I think it's a pretty good little kit. There's one up for 25 bucks right now. I think I'm going to snatch it. I've got two of them already. But I've been doing some little dioramas with the shelter halves. I've been thinking about uh, display pieces just to show off the Jeep a little bit. You don't have a, a few pup tents hanging around, maybe sandbags, maybe a machine gun nest, that sort of thing. Do them on wooden bases so that they're easily transportable and storable. But uh, we'll take it for a little ride. Wait a second, we got a... <laughs> yeah, we got a foreign object in the front of the Jeep. Let's see if we can get that out. There we go. We'll run it up down the driveway a couple times and then through the grass. I can hear the wheels. In the grass it's not bad. On the pavement you can really hear the plastic wheels. I was hoping to use 112 or 110 scale Jeep wheels for that. But uh, they're just too small. I do have the legs held together with zip tie, but not the clevis. It, it performs pretty good until you like try to go through a ditch or something, then it'll drop that gun quick. But on flat level surfaces, it works really good.